A client who brought in his amp also brought in this Vox Wah that he rebuilt, and he said, it's noisy and intermittent, and wanted to know if I could fix it. I said, I'll take a look. And I'm not trying to be, to be mean, but every solder joint in the amp looks like this. It's just chock full of really bad, unreliable solder joints. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what solder he used. Was this real solder at the wrong temperature? Was this lead-free solder, et cetera, et cetera? Thank you, phone, for chiming in in the middle of the video. So I'm gonna apply some heat to one of these and see if this is fixable or whether the whole thing needs to be rebuilt properly. Because if it's lead-free solder and it's all gooped up badly, you know, it's hard to do this with a camera here. Now that solder is actually sticking to that jack. See, it's just not adhering. I'm really not trying to be mean or being a snob or anything, but for whatever reason, this solder that he used is not tinning, not adhering to the surface of that jack at all. So from my point of view, I can't just go in here and reflow things and clean them up. I would have to get all this old yucky solder off. Is this even a switchcraft? No, it's a generic jack. That might be part of the problem. So let's put that to the side and check out one of these joints on the board. Let's do this white one here. That's the input. All right, so it's hooked around. Really gray and kind of yucky. Grainy stuff. Boy, this, this solder that he used is just nasty stuff. Doesn't want to come out. And my efforts to do this on camera are less than stellar. So, uh, hmm. Here's the issue for me. Because this thing needs so much, every wire, every wire needs to be redone. These jacks need to be replaced. And, uh, oh hell, let's open this up real fast and see what, what's underneath the board. Notice the board is only held together with one screw. And it's, uh, the jack, the, the output jack is even loose there. You see that? But the input jack's not much better. Let's get this screw out and see what the solder joints on the bottom of the board are like. I'm not sure that this is going to be a cost-effective thing for me to do. I could build him a wah. I could mod an existing wah, or I could rec recommend a good sounding wah that's already built, uh, probably all for less money than it would cost for me to fix this. All right, the joints on the bottom of the board seem okay. I don't know whether he, he did this or whether he bought this pre-assembled. So we got a burned tropical fish cap here. It might be a, a better thing for him to buy a new wah uh, that's already got a true bypass done correctly with good jacks and have me drop this board into it. I don't know. But I'm thinking for me to rebuild this properly, it would cost more than any wah out there except maybe some of the full tone Clydes. So I'm going to call him and say, you know, I'll be glad to do it. But before I charge you all that money, are you sure that's how you want to spend your, your cash? Because uh, I have no guarantee that this particular circuit here would actually sound all that great when everything is corrected. But so much needs to be corrected. And I'm not being mean and I'm not calling out someone to say, aha, I'm better than you. I've been doing this for 30 years. I should be better than the average guitarist. But uh, this is just uh, 
I feel that if I were to fix this and charge him what my time is worth, uh, he would be shocked and it would be a, a waste of his money. So I'm going to stop right here. Bear this in mind when you start to do this yourself. If your solder joints look like this, if your first solder joint looks like this one right here, stop. Don't do all the other solder joints until you learn how to do one solder joint. And if you get a part like this jack that will not accept solder, and it's not a switchcraft jack, it's a generic, stop. Get a better jack. It, you know, a switchcraft jack is like two two dollars, two to three dollars, depending on where you get it. Let's see, I've got one here. I'm not gonna solder on it because this one is a spare jack from an old basement where we put in a master volume and this output jack is getting returned with the amp. But uh this is a 60-year-old solder joint here, and it's still quite good. And you can tend this, and it accepts solder, and you can get really good joints. This is not as pretty as my work would be, but I guess I'm not in focus. They should at least look like this. Anyway, hope this helps someone save someone some heartache.